the Bible says in Genesis chapter number 1, verse 3 and 5. Light was created on first day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 to 19. The cause of light, stars, and the sun, etc., was created on fourth day. How can the cause of light be created on the fourth day later than the light which came into existence on the first day? It's unscientific. Further, the Bible says, Genesis chapter 1, verse 9 to 13, Earth was created on the third day. How can you have a night and day without the earth? The day depends upon the rotation of the earth. Without the earth created, how can you have a night and day? Point number four. Genesis chapter number 1, verse 9 to 13 says, Earth was created on the third day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 to 19 says, The sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. Today, science tells us, that Earth is part of the parent body, the Sun. It cannot come into existence before the Sun. It's unscientific. Point number five. The Bible says in Genesis chapter number one, verse number 11 to 13, the vegetation, the herbs, the shrubs, the trees, they were created on the third day. And the Sun, Genesis chapter number one, verse 14 to 19, was created on the fourth day. How can the vegetation come into existence without sunlight? And how can they survive without sunlight? Point number six, that the Bible says in Genesis chapter one, verse number 16, that God created two lights. The greater light, the sun, to rule the day, and the lesser light, the moon, to rule the night. The actual translation, if you go to the Hebrew text, it is lamps, lamps, having light of its own. And that you'll come to know better if you read both the verses, Genesis chapter one, verse 16 as well as 17. Verse number 17 says, and Almighty God placed them in the firmament to give light to the earth. To give light to the earth, indicating that sun and the moon have its own light, which is in contradiction with established scientific knowledge that we have.